again to Quickies. This is Ted, and today we're on the set of the Lumber Baron of Jasper County. I am speaking today with Mr. Kevin L. Powers. Hi, I'm Kevin L. Powers. So, Kevin L. Powers, uh, what got you into acting in the first place? Well, originally I did this short film that was a zombie film called Night of the Hungry Dead, and uh, I was a zombie in that film, and once I started, I just couldn't stop. Would we find you on IMDb? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course you can. You can find that movie on IMDb, plus a, a whole bunch of others. I write, direct, produce, act. I do a little bit of everything. So what do you like better, film work or theater or both or what? Well, my true passion is film. Like a lot of people, I went to college for film. But unfortunately, I get paid mostly for all the theater work I do. And I do a lot of theater work all over town as well as corporate. So, so what's been your favorite role so far and why? I did a film called Hell's End through Southland Films, and it was a World War II horror film. Um, it's actually one of the, the, my favorite films that I've acted in and uh, produced and helped uh, do a whole bunch of other stuff for because we were with a crew of like 60 people, of crew and actors, and stuck in a Boy Scout camp for two weeks shooting this movie. It was probably the greatest uh, film experience I've had in a very long time. So what do you think of Atlanta becoming the next Hollywood? We're not quite there yet, but uh, we will be something on par with Hollywood as long as we get some of those investors to invest in some of us indie filmmakers here in Georgia. So, what are you doing right now, film work wise? Uh, <laughs> right now, today, I'm shooting Lumber Baron, but yesterday I was on the set of another film called Acadia by Sonia Thompson, who's producing, and Jim Adams, who is directing. Uh, after that, I have several other smaller projects. You know, as always, I try and keep busy. So what would you be doing right now if you were not doing film work? Uh, well, I'd probably be catching up with a lot of sleep. <laughs> I haven't had much in the last three weeks, uh, so I'd be doing that. But if not, I'd always be writing. Writing's my uh, true passion. That's what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this. Who do you say are your Hollywood heroes? Well, some of my heroes are maybe a little bit more obscure. People like, uh, directors like George Romero and Ridley Scott and Lucky McKee. Uh, because of the work that they do is so phenomenal, just like, you know, Christopher Nolan. Uh, but some of the actors I admire are people like Clint Eastwood and Angelina Jolie. Uh, because they've broken boundaries with acting by, you know, becoming actors slash directors. And I admire that a lot. Some of the actors I'd love to work with would be like Judy Dench or Helen Mirren, Denzel Washington or Idris Elba. Those are some of the greatest actors working right now. All right, so uh, what are your plans for the future? What are you, uh, where do you see yourself years from now? Well, if uh, you didn't already know, I'm a program director for an inter uh, international film festival called Gwinnett Center International Film Festival. You can find this on the websites and on Facebook. But I'm program director for that, and I hope that it's still going in the future and that we're helping to promote both indie and international films here in Georgia. That's my goal. That's what I hope to accomplish. Indie is always good. So, uh, anything to leave us with? Any uh, upcoming uh, film projects, or websites, or anything to leave us with? Just, uh, if you can, look up Gwinnett Center International Film Festival. We're on Facebook, and we have a website. Uh, we're accepting submissions now. Our film festival is not until uh, July 31st slash August 1st and 2nd, so there's plenty of time to get your films into us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the mighty Kevin L. Powers. <laughs> this is Ted, and this is Quickies. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>